I'm gonna be redesigning Johnny Cash with his hot blue guitar. I don't think the original album art's bad or anything. I do think it's a little bit dated, and it, but it is kind of like quirky and it has some, some cool things to it. I think I wanna keep the style of you know, showing the sun records. It's kind of cool how they put the track list on the front, honestly. That might be a cool way to call back to the original album, but still like modernize it a little bit. Start by just writing out some of the text. Johnny, I think I want that to be a little bit smaller and then cash like s some big typographic thing. What's like a big font I could use? This one might work. Let's see. I want it to be wide like that, but even probably coast to coast on the margins right here. Some kind of stroke. That'll help out. Yeah. Six. That should work. Just bring the tracking in a little bit. Whoa. That was way too much. And then I'm just going to stretch this. This font's from Defont, so I'm not too worried about messing with the stretching too much. I think using this photo and the album art could be cool. I don't know. I kind of like how it's a little bit more melancholy. It could be cool to have them like chilling on there or something. I'm not sure yet though. A rough cut and we'll fix it later. This is what I usually do. Like I'm going to know I'm going to mask something, but I don't want to deal with it right this moment. I'll do something like this. So, you know, we'll have them kind of chilling like that. I think that could be cool. I don't like how this baseline isn't lined up though. Is it? I guess that's just optically a little bit weird. Could be cool to put the Johnny inside the C maybe. it there for now and then we'll duplicate this and try to throw some text on the bottom what is it how does it spell it exactly with his hot and blue guitar okay let's line this up to this a maybe right about there i don't even that's too large i think also was thinking maybe we could do something a little bit more decorative because the cash i think is the focal point of the name and the Johnny could be like a little bit more, I don't know, abstract if you want to call it. I'll take a pause on that section right now. Sometimes you got to get, you know, too stuck on that one area. You got to pull back and go back to it in a little bit. Like I was saying, I did like how they left the track list on the front. So I do want to try something like that and get some colors in here. I don't want to keep some kind of the orange that they had from the original. All right. And then I think the background could be cool to keep some of that cream texture in there. That was from the original. I think it was a yellowish kind of something like that. I think it was. And whenever we use white, we'll just use something similar to that. I'm going to convert this to a smart object and then probably just do a select subject and then go in and refine it. All right, that's pretty much cut out and the blue doesn't even look that actually crazy, but I'm going to scale this, I think a little bit more. I think I want to do like a stamp effect and then we'll throw some blue on the guitar area. It's a little bit on the nose <laughs> as I'm, as I'm masking the nose saying that is kind of stupid, but it's kind of on the nose to make it blue. But I mean, isn't that also clever? Isn't that the whole reason that? It gets brought up. What I'm gonna do though, is copy this and open it in a new document, 10 by 10, but I'm gonna make this one even larger actually, 20 by 20. And we'll try it here because these stamp effects and things are all based off the scale and the DPI that you're working at. So see how we got a lot more detail in this one. I still think we gotta bring in some of these shadows and stuff. So what we'll do is I'll go into the actual filter gallery and show you how it's working. So you see we have a grain and a stamp on here and we can mess with these sliders. Bring up the intensity on that one and the contrast. Same with here, I think. We just need more detail coming in. And then the light and dark balance is what you could really mess with here to. And we can do is even to bring a little bit more into this couch, I'm gonna duplicate this one put it below and then edit it and it'll hopefully we can mask out the couch and give it a little bit more. So this will be like our shadowy layer underneath and then see, I'll just throw that back on top and I'll go in with the soft brush and just mask some of it out. See like that. Give that a little more detail. Same with over here. Maybe even in the sock right here, but we still have some of our highlights, but we're just getting a little bit more detail in the 
areas that we need it just to help define our shapes a little bit better. I'm gonna group it actually, duplicate it, and then convert it to a smart object. I think when it's a smart object, when you scale it, it keeps the settings that you have, but it might not. We might have to rasterize it. Now let's paste this in and scale it and see what happens. Did it mess with it? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, cool. And then what we can do is, I think it's the, you can go in right here with a solid color and we can give that some kind of color, like let's say even that cream. And then you go to here, blending options. And then I think it's one of these. There we go. So see how we're getting that color under now? And we'll just go like that, clip it to it. And then we'll do a duplicate and we can do the opposite with like a blue or something. Yeah, I like that. So now we can, now we have our highlights and lowlights set to this different color thing right here that we can manipulate. And I think I want to do like a dark blue, something like that. And make another one of these and we'll make it like actually blue, that powder blue. Something right about there just to give some of those areas some color. And then we'll have to go in and, and paint it. Kind of like going in and airbrushing it out. And then I want to do the, I think the titles of the tracks somewhere in there. We'll put that right about there. And then I still want to get the sun's records I think we'll put it right there for right now. And it's a little sideways. Yeah. That's kind of cool right there. And then this track list will probably be even smaller, like 12. I usually grab these from like Discogs or Wikipedia or something like that. I don't know. I feel like it's missing something a little bit. I gotta figure out what I wanna change here. And this could even fit in there pretty good. I don't know. I don't know exactly where I wanna put this piece, but I think it'll still work. It's the thing about some of these videos, you know, you get, you get into the designing and you're working on each little piece and sometimes live designing, like, you know, you can't really figure it out right away, you know? So I wanna keep that I kind of want to keep that type of stuff in the video, you know, so it's not like every design process is just perfect and beginning to end, figure it out. You know, we're experimenting here and sometimes it takes a little bit longer because everything then is kind of lined up on that left side. Could be cool to create like a color separation right there too. What? Oh, a sloop. Well, maybe that's a sign that weird cursive font that we were trying to use just got disabled and it won't let me use it. So. Might have to figure out another option. <sighs> we might have to just go black. I think it's the weird dark blue that's messing us up a little bit. The full black looks better. I don't know, do we want something over here on the side? Do we need another thing? Nah, we're leaving the negative space for now. We need to figure out the Johnny though, for sure. I like that. But that's kind of cool having that old Johnny in there. Bring this C out more though. You're starting to not tell it's a C. All right, let's move this up a little bit. Make it look more like a C again. So I set up a new printer the other day. It was a Canon one and uh, it took me a little bit to set it up. Yeah, I wanted to do it before this video because I knew you always run into problems with that. But so I'm going to try it out, print it, scan it back in and see how it's looking. This printer is a lot high quality too than my other one. Sometimes though, I think I'll use the other one still just to get some of those like streaks and stuff. You know, I just like printing it like this, it gives it a little bit more texture and some noise and just the color separation between some of the areas and some blur from the scan, you know. Then I'm gonna throw this into a mock-up and show you the final. There's the final design, ran to a few roadblocks along the way, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and the type treatment and everything. And I think the new printer gave it some nice texture. And here it is mocked up, how it would look like in a record store. I think it looks pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. If you want the project file used in this video, check out the Patreon below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Peace.